2011, the Office of Human Rights conducted two community forums with the goal to engage and inform, identify issues, listen and obtain feedback from the community about language access rights and services offered by government agencies. The mayor came into office with a clear message that he wanted the agencies to be more accountable to the constituents, more transparent to the communities, and he just wanted the government workers to be more in the community. Um, I know that this mayor's, um, Mayor Vincent C. Gray's administration has really um, hampered and highlighted their inclusive nature. And we really understand the importance of um, involving citizens um, and, and hearing their voices and um, taking into account their personal experiences to shape policies um, that will eventually drive our programs and initiatives, that we make sure that we're doing the things that we're doing directly for them. As a result of that initiative, the director decided that he wanted us to do these two community forums. So, right now, Mayor Gray has expressed and explained what the One City vision, which is to unify every single corner, every single neighbor, every single community in the district uh, around key priorities that are important for every resident, no matter where they live, no matter who they are. Those priorities being fiscal discipline, education, public safety, and jobs, job creation. So we did it in a way that was open. We invited all our stakeholders, all the community agencies that we partner with, to sit down with us and the other government agency members that work in language access to come up with the design of these community forums. What we came up with finally was dialogues and information sessions between all the stakeholders, which included the community members themselves, limited English proficiency, proficient and non-English proficient constituents, immigrants, but also advocates from the community organizations and the government, and then agency directors and other government officials. The importance of the employment forum was the communication between the agencies, and the community. The community responded by doing different workshops and collecting information to present to the different directors. One of the goals or the main goal about having this forum was to create a safe space for community members, advocates, and DC government agencies to have a dialogue about the services for members of LEP and EP communities. So with the DC Language Access Act, I think DC is at the forefront of ensuring that our communities have equal access to these services. And having these, for these forums was one of many steps needed to ensure that our community members know about their rights and to offer feedback about how to improve such services. One of the things that I thought was most powerful were the individual stories. I heard some very powerful stories about experiences that community members had had either in trying to start their own business or being facing discrimination in the workplace, etc. And they were able to have a platform for their voices to be heard and there were key figures, governmental figures and other uh, NGOs in the, in the audience who were hearing those stories and, and beyond that thinking about how they could take those stories back and use that to improve the services that they're providing in the community. Uh, in my own case, I mentioned uh, in uh, 2005, I was sent into the uh, emergency room because the communication uh, failed and I was not being well, very well taken care of. And uh, basically, I'm still suffering this consequence. Therefore, my question comes to uh, one point. If we go to the hospital, uh, what kind of service are we going to help us to communicate with those service providers uh, provided by the hospital? Because if I have to apply uh, for the service provided to me, it's not consuming, and I don't know the procedure either. So the major issue about um, our community, especially in the immigrant community, is the access access to government services and programs which are available to everyone. Um, oftentimes that they cannot get access because of language barriers or cultural 
um, difficulties. While we uh, know that um, all we encourage all immigrants to learn English, English, we have to recognize that providing services in their own language is vital, especially when it comes to um, emergency services, medical services, um, public safety, um, language acquisition. Um, among adults is slower and especially for those coming from uh, who, those who lack formal education in their home country and have lower levels of literacy so while they make a huge effort to learn English um, we cannot deny, ser deny them services in their home language. In terms of doing forums like this, it's not just the fact that they're learning about the benefits or their rights of the Language Access Program and the Language Access Act, but they're also learning about their substantive rights that go along with their benefit to access to language um, programs. Um, so they're learning about discrimination rights, they're learning about how to file a wage and hour claim with the Department of DOES, and so it's sort of a dual purpose, this form, not just language access, but also substantive rights. So community engagement in general is really important, I think, for the work that we're doing because at the foundation of making laws actually work um, and policies actually come to life is, is people and the power behind people. And so you can only have that when you have community that's not only engaged, but also informed about what they should be engaged about. And that's why I think doing forums where people, and in particular diverse groups of people, and people who are actually impacted by the policies that we're making can come out and learn about their rights, to learn about what they're entitled to, and to learn about how to make suggestions and changes to those policies and laws um, that exist. That's where those forums are really important is they have to be relevant to the communities that they're serving. They have to be um, something where folks can learn about how they can make a change. And I think only if they learn that, then we can actually have some success in enforcing those laws. We cannot stress enough that one of our jobs at DHR is to make the district government accessible to you. Please contact us. Please share your concerns. Because our services are only as good as the people that they reach. And if we are not reaching you, then we are failing. To learn more about the Language Access Program, you can find us at the web at ohr.dc.gov.